Okay, today I'm going to look at the Chrome web app called Explain Everything. Uh, this was a popular app on iOS initially, and then eventually it came out for Android, and now it's available on Chrome Web Store. And right now it's totally free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my launcher, and we're going to go ahead and find Explain Everything. And so I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Uh, you would download it from the Chrome Web Store. And it takes a little time to load, and it'll just load up in a little box like this. You can't make it larger uh, and make it full screen. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll zoom in on it, so that way you can see it as full screen on your screen. Now, what it's going to first do is it's going to ask if you uh, want to discard or open a previous project if you've made something before. So I'm going to go ahead and just discard this project right now. I don't need the previous project. All right, but normally when you first open it, you can see any videos you, that you have made and published, but then you can also start new ones. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new one, and then you get to choose a color scheme. And so I have a white background, black background, green background, and another white background. It just depends on what color pens you want between the white ones. So I'm going to choose this one, and it's going to start up with the creation screen here. And this screen right here, you have lots of different tools to work with. I'm not going to go through all the tools. I'm going to kind of give you an overview of how to get started with it. And then you should probably kind of explore some of these tools yourself. So the first things first, uh, the most basic is you can draw. And right now I'm making a slide. I'm not recording, but you could record yourself writing. Uh, right down here at the bottom is where you would start recording. And right down here, you'll notice that it has slide one of one. So I have slide one there. I'm going to go ahead and make a second slide that I can get to later. And I'm also going to go ahead and show that you can also add text. So if I hit the A, I can add text. So here's my text box. And then I also have the ability to resize it if I want. And when I place it where I want, I can hit the check mark. And actually, you can grab it. And actually, you can do all this while you're recording as well. Uh, if I wanted a third box or a third set of slides, I can hit the plus sign here. And I can add more materials. So when I hit the plus here, this is just another item that you can insert. You have the option of adding an existing photo or video that you have on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and punch in a, a photo here. We'll just do this one right here. So now I have this photo in. And I'm going to put a text box in. I'm going to say that this is a photo from my computer. There we go. There's my box. And I am now set. I have to hit the check mark here and move it where I want later. There we go. So that one is done. If I wanted to change the color of that, I could double click on it. And we'll see if I can just click on the color. And it looks like you could just double click on it, change the color instantly, just like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get a fourth slide. And on this one, I'm going to show you that you can also take pictures. I'm going to go ahead and do a new picture, or you can do a new video, and that just takes it straight from your webcam. And so one thing that's kind of tricky is that when you take a picture, you would think you would just take it this way. Uh, right now, at this very point when I'm doing this video, it's very, very goofy. Uh, you have to think of it as a cell phone, and that this way is up, and this way is down, and there's the button. So they haven't figured out the orientation on this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn my Chromebook sideways. I know this is really weird right here. And I'm going to try and take the picture like so. And it takes my picture. And yeah, it looks sideways right now. But watch what happens when I actually put it in my screen here. And you'll notice that it is the correct way. So that's obviously something that they need to work on. Uh, hopefully by the time you're watching this video, they have that fixed. So this is a photo from my webcam. There we go. I have that in. I'm good to go. All right. So I haven't recorded a single thing. Right now, all I've been doing is getting slides together. And this would be a good even presentation tool. You could screencast from it. I can add things as I'm recording. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start recording. And remember, when you hit the recording button, you can always hit pause as you're going through here. Uh, so that way you can catch your breath or switch slides. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button. 
Hi, this is Lance Yoder doing a screencast using Explain Everything. And on here, I just wrote hi with the pen tool. And here's how you can draw while you are recording your video. If I needed to erase it, I could always erase it too. There we go. And if I need to select an item, I can grab a hold of it and move it wherever I want. This would be kind of fun if you wanted to have an animated uh, video or something. If you had some pictures and you wanted to move them around and you wanted to have a recording of them talking. Okay, so I paused it there. I'm going to go on to the next slide. And I'm going to start recording again. This is a text box. All I did was add it using the text tool. And so here is another one. I'm going to hit the check mark and I'm going to pause. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next slide. I'm not recording right now, but I'm going to get ready to record. Here's a picture that I imported from my computer. And I also added a text box and I can talk about it. And if I wanted to point specific things out, I could use this nifty laser pointer like this. Just click down and point at specific things. All right, and I'm on my fourth slide and I'm going to get ready to record. I'm going to choose my select option. And this is a photo of me. I just took it with my webcam on my Chromebook. And also, if I wanted to draw nifty arrows to point something out, I could actually do this and point out that I took it from my webcam and I could move that arrow around wherever I want. And if I wanted to change the color of an arrow and I wanted another colored arrow, I could go ahead and do that. However, I forgot to switch to my tools here and point directly at my face now. There we go. Now I have a nifty video that I just made. And if I make a mistake, I can also undo a mistake. We'll see what this does too. Looks like I can group things, duplicate them, copy them, set as a background. Lots of different tools that you can use in Explain Everything. However, I'm not gonna go through all of them. Okay, so I made a nifty little video. It's gonna piece it together when I actually upload it somewhere. But if I wanted to, what I could do is I could go back through each video that I made or each slide and I could watch each one separately. All right, so I'm not going to go through that. I'm not going to bore you with it. What, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you that you can upload it and I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And when I hit the upload button, I'm going to choose the more option for Google Drive because I prefer to have it in my Google Drive. And I can choose which folder I want to put it in. And right now I'm just going to put it in my test folder here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the export button. And I'm going to let's call it what I want. Okay, I'm going to hit the yes button. And this part takes an extremely long time. So I'm not going to bore you with it. You're going to want to let your Chromebook or Chrome browser run for a long time, as you can see. It's not even moving yet. So it's going to take some time to done compressing and done piecing together your entire video. And I hope you enjoy.